still having trouble with the zombies? No. Skeletons. Oh, even more fun. I'm trying to get me a bow. They, uh... Skeletons move a whole lot faster in 1.9 than they did before. Oh yeah, and they're, they're cagey too. So the center was 1,500, negative 1,100? Yep. Yes. So that way... No. Where are all the diamonds? Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm going to cry in a minute. Oh, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> it's not fair, man. <laughs> not fair. <laughs> I'm just wondering who he's watching. Uh, you white. Oh, yeah, because I did that, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Whatever. I spent eight months in the nether, dude, okay? That's all I gotta say. I spent eight months in the friggin' nether. <laughs> I know that feeling. I spent two years on a server in the nether. I am watching both of you there. I'm clicking between it. It's highly Shut entertaining. Shut your hole. Is I laughed for one mistake, but then there's obviously lots of opportunity as well that I can see. In 1.11, they add a backpack. Well, I started playing 1.10 last night, because um, uh, the new... What's the one that starts with a 1x1 one one world border and then expands out? Oh, I want to play that. Captive Minecraft. Yeah, the Captive 4 came out, but it's 1.10, so I installed 1.10 and played it, and I couldn't get used to the auto-jumping. It made me want to scream. You can turn that off pretty easily. 
Uh, Auto jumping? Yeah, yeah, it's just a setting. It's weird that no. they turned it on by default. That that's I think that was a bad move. I'm gonna have to turn it off then, because it makes me want to punch the screen. Yeah, just go in the control settings. So much inventory stuff. I like none of this is actually very helpful. <laughs> okay. Probably pick all of it back up again when I do this though. Oh, come on. Oh, that's the other thing I can say to you, H Poon. 1,200 blocks. What? You got tired and moved on to other stuff. She's like, I just, I'm, t I'm burned out on doing this tunnel. 1,200 blocks. That's all I got to say. Tunnel? <laughs> the train from Oakville, Oakvale to the hub. I thought the train was done to the Oakvale to the hub. It is. Yeah. It's 1,200 blocks. Yeah, yeah. It's still short. I've shared with you my Civcraft map. It's still short. <laughs> What's still short? The roads and the rails on our server. Oh, well, yeah, Civcraft. but... Relatively. I, came up I thought we were partners, and like, yeah, I'm burned out. I'm like, oh... I actually calculated it. I'm going to come the... back strong soon. Yeah, no, it's fine. You know, I'm just giving you crap because I can. Exactly. Um, the reason I love the Hoocraft server, as you said before, is so, it's so accommodating for those of us that are 30-something and married with kids. I've never found another server that's that accommodating for, you know, disappearing yeah. for a few weeks or months and then coming back. Yeah. Hoocraft's a great community. I, I really love that we have a lot of similarities, but we're also extremely different from each other. And everybody can, you know, kind of takes Minecraft seriously, but takes life not very seriously. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's the world border. Is it actually moving? Oh, there we go. Oh, looks like we lost h -Bin. Oh, and voice? Yep. He went to Builders Anonymous. Uh, looks like the border's not shrinking. Alright, so... It begs the question, what did you set up right? Well, apparently nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's not shrinking. It's not moving at all. So we'll just have to plane to meet in the middle. Okay. Let me finish uh, harvesting diamonds here, and I'll come find you. Yep, yep. Gotcha. be great if I could find a village or something around here. I really need to do is go back down and get diamonds. And do that at night time. And head toward the middle and make my way over that direction before going down again. Again. 
Yeah, I'm close enough to the middle. I think I might just go, go down. Welcome back, sir. Sorry, I didn't realize I'd left the channel. I've been busy talking to myself for two minutes. <laughs> I thought you did it on purpose. Nope. It's just saying I'm so annoyed I died. I had such a good start. Reeds, books, apples, just needed that gold and that diamond. Oh, I've been enchanted and mended up. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, the PvE in this game is... Uh... Probably the, the hardest thing. I, I can handle dying by the hand of a of a fellow who crafter, but dying at the hand of a skeleton or fall damage or something like that is just stupid. It was my own fault. I just took too many risks. Yeah. I took way too many risks. Once I'd lost all those hearts to those zombies and went down from the one and a half hearts I lost down to, I think I was on four hearts left. I then just needed to play it safe, and I didn't. I went ballsing into a cave that was splitting off in hundreds of directions. So stupid. I didn't even need the lapis at that. I could have carried on down to diamond level and I'd have been fully enchanted. Again, when you watch the good UHCers, they, they get really careful when they're low on health and then they get the build up the gold, get the hearts back up and then get back on the on pushing hard. Yeah. My problem is normally troubles getting apples rather than getting the gold. Yeah, it doesn't help you to have gold if you don't have apples to use it on. No. Which is why the running into the mine shaft was tempting, because sometimes, you know, the apples, are, if you look at the chest generation percentages, you hit enough mine shafts or, you know, even if you go to the nether, the chances of finding chests in a fortress without gold apples in aren't that rare. Yeah. just got so lucky. the diamonds <sighs> everything except what I actually need right now lapis back there. Go get that before I go anywhere else. Really? That's it? That had like three pieces of lapis. That's just no fun. have to have fortune three on your pick like i do right oh yeah because you you know you have to have that full set of uh, bookshelves well yeah <laughs> what's what do you find in chests you don't find level 30 books in chests do you it's level 11 to 20 isn't it at random or so, something yeah. yeah you could have found two fortune two books and combined them on that anvil that you have That's true. I could have done that. 
Who is it in um, someone in Minecraft in the current series and has got Frostwalk on their boots, which I think is awesome for getaways over water. I didn't see that. Uh, it might be Chad. Oh my god, Chad! I can't uh, no, remember. I'm not watching the watching that. Chad's version. I should do. That. There was a Frostwalker. There was a Frostwalker one in a in a chest. Decided to use the anvil and put it on boots, which meant they could just then sprint across. If the team was close enough behind That's him, smart. could sprint across rivers and seas. I hate 1.9. <laughs> Have you lost more hearts? I assume you've lost more hearts. Oh, yeah, the arrows sticking out Ouch. of that look attractive. Half a heart. Oh my goodness. We're not going to get to any PvP in this, are we? No. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Crap. Now I can understand why doing pairs is the way to go, just because you've got... Like, you can double team. I made yeah. the mistake of putting my bow in my other hand, so, like, right click didn't work. I've got to carry the shield at all times. No, I was. All right. I put my bow in my dominant hand, and so there was no right click to hold my shield up. 